Okay, we're doing a close-up on my face right now because I did my face makeup crazy for a video thumbnail earlier. It didn't even turn out the way I wanted to, but it's fine. And I'm going to get my passport today, like here in the next 10 minutes. So with passport photos, you can't have your ears hiding, extreme makeup, or even wear your glasses. Hopefully this looks natural enough. And then I chose this. I mean, I think it just takes a picture from your chest up, but I, I like the outfit. So my appointment is on September 4th. I've got all the paperwork filled out. Just gotta get the photo and I think some checks from the bank real quick. It's gonna be $160. And I think there's tax, I don't know. Once I get my passport, we can finally book the plane tickets and that's a good thing because the earlier out you can get your tickets, the better as far as pricing goes. And apparently you can't get the plane tickets until you have the passport. So if I wanna go to Scotland, I gotta get the ball on the road here. Ball on the road, is that? That's a, that's a thing, sure. I was hoping to get a passport photo. Yes, just of you? Just of me. All right, is it for a US or a Canadian passport? Uh, it's a US to go to Scotland? Yeah, it is a US. Okay, cool. <laughs> I asked if there's a difference in dimension between okay. a Canadian citizen's passport and a US passport. Awesome. Right. I can take the picture now. Okay. And it'll be ready in one hour. So. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, so something to note here is this was not a good idea apparently so they do want your shoulders covered so i had to flip this and go like that and hopefully that was good enough but when i was reading through it didn't say anything about having too much shoulder but i guess there is a thing about that also i'm gonna have resting bitch face in in my photo apparently because there is absolutely no smiling i had to have it relaxed and apparently because i got to see the photo i definitely have resting bitch face so that's fun you didn't know that? I didn't know that. Did you know that? Yes. He knew that apparently. Really? <laughs> this is why I'm always so expressive because if I'm not, I look like a bitch. Apparently. So to paraphrase, wear sleeves or at least something that comes to like here maybe. It takes about an hour so... Oops. It's gonna take an hour, so we'll be back in an hour. The total cost is $16, plus tax in Washington, roughly around 19. And practice your resting face. Those are, those are the things to remember. Gotta get a sheet of checks. They gave me three sheets, I asked for a sheet. So I have more checks than you use ever. There's four. So 12, I have 12 checks that I will never need. That's enough, enough to last you a lifetime. It literally is. Um, so this guy was holding the door open for me while I was entering and then it slipped out of his hands and it cold cocked me on my side. So now this side fucking hurts. <laughs> he felt really bad about it. <laughs> I didn't feel great, my eye hurts honestly. <laughs> Like, this side hurts. It, it was a surprisingly fast swinging door, let's just say that. Like my eye is watering and everything. And of course I get to walk in and everyone saw the girl get cold, cold cocked with the door. Yes, you're not getting the photo. Yeah, well I got my photo done already. Oh, it is a little, well, is that the makeup or? <laughs> it's a little red. So, can't show you the front, but this is what they look like. Sorry, say that again, sir. What? What did you say? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I said your picture looks great. I am done with people not knowing how to fucking drive today. I think my limit is, is with its shit right now. <sighs> Topped out. No, really, what did you say? I am busy right now. Uh-huh. He doesn't want it on record, but I got a memory like a still trap. I know what he said. Have you okay. Seen your face? It's really bad, you guys. It's <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> It's okay to laugh. One more look, you guys. Does this look like a happy person? Is this someone you would let into your country? This is my ID. It is at my heaviest weight, and I still like this picture better than that. It said not to hide your ears. So I just went with a ponytail. Oh, 
it did me no favors. Let's just say this. Like the lighting could have at least been adjusted a little better. I, I'm gonna have to explain my picture to people. <laughs> If anyone comments on it in, in the passport area, I'm going to be mortified. I'm sure they won't. I'll, br I'll bring it up. I don't doubt that you would. Don't come on our picture if he doesn't like it. <laughs> it's not okay for him to bring attention to it, yes, it at the passport area. Yes. It's mortifying. It's absolutely mortifying. It is, it is an official document that makes it look like I am out to travel to countries to murder. You wanted to go there. You said you wanted to go there and eat all their seafood. Is that not committing murder? <laughs> it's pescatarian side. There you go. <laughs> all right, I got a little lost on my way here, but I made it. Fifteen minutes to spare. You don't want to be late to official business. And I almost was. All right, well, I am a little nervous about this passport processing situation. So first thing to note, they do take your official birth certificate with your processing papers. So that is in the mail now, or it will be. And because my birth certificate comes from Guam, I am a little bit nervous about giving up the physical copy of it and trusting that it will come back to me and it's gonna take about 10 weeks. So, just just really hoping it doesn't get lost in the mail. Also, I don't know my dad's birth date, so they had to like triple ask me if I knew anything around it, and I'm like, sorry, you know, what I know is from what's on the birth certificate. So hopefully that's okay. And then to top it off, my birth certificate has my full middle name and my driver's license just as the initial. So when I was filling out the paperwork, I used my full middle name and I had to make sure to make a note next to my ID to use my full middle name in the passport as it is depicted on my birth certificate. So if you're filling out your paperwork, go with what is on your driver's license ID. And last but not least, also with the ID, make sure that you have the same handwriting like signature as your ID. They will check that. I have had the same signature for years, but I did switch it up when I was like in my 20s, early 20s. So if your ID does not match your current signature style, you either need to switch back <laughs> or get a new ID. Today is September 27th. I filed all the paperwork on September 4th. That would make it a little over three weeks. I was quoted six to eight, so this is really good. I haven't opened it yet, but I am pretty sure this is it. I'm really excited to find out. Not the most satisfying peel. I wanna be really careful just in case my birth certificate is in here with it. It is not. So fingers crossed that that's still coming because a Guam birth certificate is pretty hard to get. Got my passport. This is my first passport. I'm excited. So this is what it looks like on the first page. So this is about as good as I can get it to focus, sorry. There's a little spot down here where I need to sign. I really hate this picture. I also wish I wasn't wearing my choker during it as well. Wish I had thought to take that off. And then each page here has a different picture. It starts on page eight and ends on page 26. Where the booklet ends, it says, the cause of freedom is not the cause of a race or sect, a party or a class. It is the cause of humankind, the very birthright of humanity. And then shows the world. I'm excited to fill this up. I don't know if I will need to when we're living on a boat, but it definitely is the first step to become the world traveler I've always dreamed of being. I was in the Navy, so I have been to Italy and a couple other places. <laughs> But the only time that I have gone out of the U.S. for personal reasons, for enjoyment, vacation, etc., was to go to Canada. And that was for my birthday a couple years ago. Now that's all left to do is wait for my birth certificate. And I will let you guys know how long that takes. Overall, I'd say this was extremely easy to get, pretty painless. It was $160 and I had to give them my real birth certificate, so not completely painless. But making the appointment, filling out the information, and going to the courthouse to verify everything. Really easy, really simple. I'd say the only thing I regret is the picture, but I also don't think much can be done about my face, so. 
I have to say overall this sense of like pride I have just for having this it's a symbol of opportunity in the future that I never bothered to get before because I never considered a future where I would get to travel out of the states so I am really happy and I would say if you guys have the money and the time get the passport book it may end up compelling you to go see the world dream big as they say and dream big I will It's August 3rd, and I've got something document-sized in the mail. It's my birth certificate. Excuse me for not getting a close-up of it. That is the end of it. That's, I've got all the documentation I need, and I'm ready for the first stamp in my passport book in nine months. But I will be going to Scotland. The deposit is down. The plane tickets are booked. It's all set in motion. Now we just have to wait nine months. If you guys are excited to see a bit of Scotland with me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I know it is nine months away, but I am working on my vlogging style currently and hopefully I will be able to give you guys some really great views and experiences from being on a boat and traveling Scotland. We just have to be a little patient until then. If you guys are interested in seeing what I have been doing to work on myself as far as getting ready for this trip, there's a weight loss journey playlist, a getting better at cinematic vlogging playlist, and a learning to live on a sailboat playlist. I am dedicating a lot of effort and time to try and fulfill these dreams. And on the plus side, you guys will never know what kind of video you'll be getting. I like to keep you guys on your toes. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this passport vlog. <laughs> I didn't do any research before making this. Are there a lot of passport vlogs? Let me know in the comments how mine stacks up against them. But thank you guys for joining me on this specific journey, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.